Okay, head coach Ross of the Tax Gym, Speed Warrior, and Gio Wu, hooking me up. KD of Long Beach Kickboxing. Uh, again, dealing with the Yanyani Raihisi series, specifically the tier one approach, and especially the questions that I get about evasion, or when you can't evade, you're in what we call a disadvantageous position, phase two, phase two, not three, phase two. Phase two is when you're like in a corner or some messed up position, where it's very hard for you to defend, and you're in a undesirable, unideal position here. You're in a position, you're not in a fighting stance, you're in a position. Uh, a fighting stance is much more ideal for offense and defense and mobility. Here, you have, a, you have all kinds of vulnerabilities to overcome while your opponent is pressing the advantage here, okay? So, the question becomes, how do you apply your hole that you call your capoeira uh, mestre who doesn't know self-defense, which is why you're here watching my video, because there's stuff sucks, let's just be honest, all right? Uh, <clears throat> you watch, the, how do you apply that here? What happens in real life? Well, this is the kind of thing that happens in real life when you try to apply their, their cardio capoeira, you know, techniques here against any form of legitimate resistance. You know, KD is, a, is an experienced kickboxer. You know, what he's going to do here is he's going to apply his techniques to stop me from the application of using the cardio capoeira hole as I'm trying to escape from this position. Okay? All right. Whenever you're ready. Mestre didn't tell me about that. And the reason why Mestre didn't tell you about that is because Mestre didn't teach yourself defense. He probably told you some lies about how capoeira is designed to make friends or, or stuff like that. How many slaves made friends with their slave masters to get their freedom? If their slave masters were the kind in the first place, they were kind to not start slavery in the first place. Common sense, right? Okay. So that clearly doesn't work. So this is the kind of thing you do in real life. In real life, you're training with me. Your opponent comes, you're gonna wind up defending here. So you use your movement to transition from position to position here, and then you'll be able to escape. That's how you do it in real life. Explain that to him, would you please, KD? To first, did you go for me? Was that for real? Was that a real thing? Yeah, tell, I, was, tell I was really trying to kick and punch him. Talk to him. I was really trying to kick and punch him. He was blocking and invading and he picked the right moment when I was setting up another attack to manipulate my leg so I couldn't move like I wanted to and he was gone. That is exactly, that is exactly, exactly correct. Drawing upon the, the lessons of Lixoes de Anansi, the lessons of Anansi, the Orisha, I apply the proper timing, the manipulation of height with depth, timing, pressure, posture, angle of entry and angle of exit in order to achieve safety and escape from a, a, a disadvantageous level two evasion uh, level two situation, which is very, very disadvantaged, disadvantaged and where you're at a great deal of risk. Okay, if you have any questions or comments, please leave them at the end of this video. Please sign up, hit that like sign. Please hit that subscribe sign. You know, uh, put it on a favorite. You know your boy needs that. You know, it helps us pay the bills. Uh, please go to my website, which is on Google Sites, Attack Gym Street Warrior, in Gio Uhuru, Capoeira. Uh, and uh, please follow us on Facebook and Twitter, attackgym.com on Twitter, Attack Gym Street Warrior, Capoeira on Facebook. All right? Uh, this is Head Coach Ross, Attack Gym Street Warrior, in Gio Uhuru, Friend KD, Long Beach Kickboxing. Thank you very much for watching. Asani Sante. Ashi. Ashi.